You'll have to excuse me, Sergeant. I have to prepare this experiment for my next class. Well, that's quite all right, Mr. Surprio. I don't want to interrupt your work. I'd just like to know a little more about Jerry Cook. He was a very fine young man. Yeah. Listen, how well did you know him? I suppose I was his best friend here at MacArthur. Is that right? Yes. I felt very sorry for him. Why did you feel sorry for him? He came from a broken home. He had a half a dozen brothers and sisters all younger than he was. His mother held down two jobs just in order to feed them. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Cipriot, do you know if Jerry was into pushing drugs? Where did you get that information? From several people. As a matter of fact, they say he was not only pushing them, but he was using them, smack especially. I didn't know anything about that. Listen, <laughs> so, Mr. Cipriot, I, uh, I won't take any more of your time now. Maybe we can talk again later. Okay? Yes, that's your convenience, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Hey, Linda, I've been looking for you. Pepper. Hi. How you doing? Great. How are you? Oh, just fine. Ron, look who's here. Hi, Ron. Hey, my favorite sergeant. Thank you. What kind of tickets you selling this time? No, no tickets today. I need a volunteer. Undercover work? Yeah. I'll do it. Hey, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't even know what it is. It's a scam, Sarge. Narcotics. Huh? Narcotics. <sighs> Bad news, man. Now, this is at MacArthur High. I've been working undercover there for three weeks. That's where a kid was killed last night. Yeah, that's right. Linda, I don't want you to do it. Why not? Maybe those guys into narcotics, they play rough. Ron, I'm a police woman. Yeah, for all of three months, huh? Hey, I'll find you something real soon. I can get somebody else for this. Oh, no, you don't. You've got your volunteer. And you stop being a male chauvinist pig. OK. Hey, you take care of it for me, will you, Pat? You got it all wrong. She's going to take care of me. Hi, Mark. Long time no see. Why did you kill that boy? Well, that was an accident. <laughs> hey, come on. I wouldn't kid you. What do you want from me? Well, the man wants to see you. You know, Stemper. Well, I don't want to see him. Well, I would think about this if I were you. I mean, what happened to that boy last night uh, could very easily happen to you. Friendship goes only so far. Don't threaten me. All right. Try this one on for size, though. Now, the man said that if you don't show up, you're never going to teach another day of school as long as you live. That is, if you live. What do you want me to do? Just start driving. I wouldn't let you get lost.